everybody is Troy. The blend modes allow you to take two pieces of video or just a video and maybe even a graphic and enhance it. Let's say that I've got a title sequence here. Looks nice, right? It's reasonable. Maybe I'm, I don't know, an aviation technology company. But I want to convey that when you're in an aviation technology company uh, that maybe you're up in the sky a lot. Uh, or you want to blend it in with something that conveys that you're a global company. Uh, this is where we next level our titles, our, our uh, intros, our callouts, our lower thirds, because you can combine other video assets from any uh, animation or from any uh, video source. We happen to use those from library.techsmith.com to create these types of examples. Like I said, you can put them together, make uh, much more modern callouts. And uh, in fact, let me. Uh, here's another one, and here's one that you know it's got a, a quote associated with it. But let me show you how I build them. Uh, here's one that we're going to work on, so you can see sort of the my method, if you will. Uh, let's say that I want to modernize a callout. Cool. I've got a callout. Simple enough. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. So I basically have two of them. The top one. Uh, it, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go to my visual effects and I'm going to use uh, something called uh, media mat and I will drag that down. What that uh, Once that is selected, I choose alpha. Now, what does that do? Well, let me uh, first just show you what we're going to be using here. And as soon as this video, this globe, falls under the track mat, it gets cropped. So I'm using the copied, so I make, I start with my original, I copy and paste it, and the, and with the track mat, it becomes matted, if you will. Okay, so that's good. Um, but this only works, uh, and uh, this video plus this call out, uh, they have to be blended. So here's how I do it. Uh, I go to the blend mode, and I drag that down onto onto my little globe. Okay, let me slide it in so you can see how it looks. And you can see that it's got blend mode on. Then with it selected, uh, I've got my blend mode over here. And I usually start by going to screen. That's the easiest. That's uh, at least it's a beginning point. And then I just adventure my way through this and say, Eh, no, don't linear, color burn, darken, maybe, dissolve, no, 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 no. And you can just play, go all the way through them. They'll update live. Uh, in this one, I happen to like screen. Also, one of the options on here is that you can say, you know what, let's go all the way up. Or, nah, that kind of conflicts with the text. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to read it. So I'm going to bring it down. And then I've also, uh, under here, uh, under the blend ranges, if you really want to, you can customize and say, okay, these highlights I want, or maybe I need it just really subtle, or um, I'm going to bring all the highlights up, or I'm going to bring all the shadows up. You can you can play with it. But suffice it to say, just start here and uh, choose the one that looks right. Play with the intensity on it, and then if you need to, you can play. You got some custom controls under range. Now, so we got something right. This is good. This is this is a really nice call out. Uh, let's then control it, or excuse me, multiple select, and then I'm going to group it, Command G or Windows G. I'm going to rename this. I'll call this one uh, New Callout. And what I've got here is a grouping with new properties. I'm going to click on this right here. And you recalled uh, maybe that there were uh, I had two callouts, and so this grouping is saying, you got two bits of A, B, C here. What's up with that? Uh, so no problem. I'm going to bring those up here, and I'm going to connect those together so that uh, those remain the same. And you may choose to give somebody uh, control over the color, uh, or, like, or you might like say, you know what, I'm going to lock this down. Nobody's going to change that color. It is what it is. And I'm going to click that. And so it no longer is available as a property. And uh, let's just call this one call out text. Hit save. 
And I probably should have used something shorter, but you get the idea now. Uh, so now somebody comes in here, and let's just give it a shot. Let's call it A, B, C, D, E, F. And there we go. All right, so we got the text. Now if anybody wants to change it or maybe change the fonts to a different size or shape, they can go through it uh, there. But you've essentially set it. And now the last thing you're going to do is add it to a library. This is what I do, is if you don't have one, add it to it. Um, create one. Um, I happen to have a handful, more than I should. Um, and <laughs> uh, I'll call this one new call out, right? But now the next time I want this call out, I don't go to the annotations anymore. Um, I can have a set of libraries on here that I can use at any time. And I drag this one down and it's all blended and beautiful. I don't have to make any adjustments to it. And um, GHI, right? and there we go. So that's how I use blend modes, how I also copy it and combine it with track mats. I hope this wasn't too much too fast, but we have two tutorials on, on track mats too, but uh, uh, as well as libraries and all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching folks. Take care.